A good time should not be underestimated, venturing out into the not-me, cultivating agreeable sensations. Sometimes it's the only thing that keeps the doctor from swallowing all the pills. Let us divide it into its parts. Eating, or more properly, eating out. What's your favorite food? Answer quickly. Sugar. Unless we are ruthlessly honest, we won't get anywhere. At the doctor's favorite restaurant, there's a dessert called Sex. Zebaioni and ice cream. I'll have some sex, please. It's an impersonal force. The difference between a visionary experience and a mystical one. The doctor can actually feel himself getting fat. Of course, on him it looks, I don't know, sensuous. Decadent without being altogether unboyish. And even when one is a brain-dead pool of adipose and cholesterol, one will still be able to solicit some sympathy from one's love object. The doctor feels quite sure. Drinking. So you have a little drink. Stick to the wine. It won't fry your prostate. The discipline in life, let's be quite clear, is to expect nothing, to make your image zero. The doctor admits that this is a spare program. So there are times, we suggest this with all possible tact, when your only recourse is to gross stimulants. Go out and get drunk. Agree with people. Sit there among the OMMs, the only mildly miserables in their various interpretations of ceremonial dress, and watch the trumpeter's cheeks inflate. The saxophonist is at rigid attention. The vocalist scats on her knees. Pour yourself a little more of the present tense. Being merry. You sweep your partner to her feet and onto the floor. Her eau de cologne is almost as suspect as your own, and you dance, as it were, reek to reek. Your lips go to her ear. I'll have some sex, please. She smiles. It's looking good. <laughs>